November 30th, 2020, fluency. Number one, find the sum of 39 and 98 hundredths and 42 and 178 thousandths. So I know that that word sum means we're gonna add. So when we're adding or subtracting with our decimals, line them up. All right, so we're gonna have 39 and, so I'm gonna put that decimal, 98 hundredths, so 39 and 98 hundredths, plus, do, 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 line up that decimal, um, 42, 42, and 178, thousands. All right, we can put a placeholder zero if you'd like to um, up top here. Now we can add from right to left. So zero plus eight is eight. 8 plus 7 is going to be 15. I'm going to carry my 1 and drop that 5. 9, 10, 11. Carry that 1. Drop that 1. <laughs> what do I do with that decimal? Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. 9, 10, 11, 12. Carry that 1. Drop that 2. Whoa, I'm out of 1s already. <laughs> 3 plus 4. This is going to be 7 plus 1 is 8. So our answer here is 82 and 158 thousandths. We're going to have to get some more ones up here. All right, now let's look at number 2. Find the quotient of 752 divided by 8. So quotient is dividing. So we're going to divide um, on the inside of the house. It's going to be 752. 752. On the outside of the house, it's going to be 8. Do -do -do. So 752 is our dividend and 8 is our divisor. Now, how many times can 8 go into 7? Well, it can't. How about how many times can 8 go into 75? Well, eight can go into 75. I know eight and I ate till I got sick on the floor. Eight times eight is 64. Can I go eight times nine? <gasps> yeah, eight times nine is gonna be 72. So let's go with eight times nine. It's gonna be 72, so I'm gonna write down my 72. And I'm going to subtract. All right, so now when we subtract five minus two, it's going to be 3. 7 minus 7 is 0. Um, and what do I do with that 2? I'll bring it down. Alrighty, now I have 32. How many times can 8 go into 32? Ooh, yeah. I know 8 can go into 32 four times. And guess what? 8 times 4 is 32. So then when we subtract, we get is 0. So we have no remainders here. Um. We have no remainders here, so nothing else to bring down. So our answer is going to be 94. Woohoo! So I'm going to put in my answer, 94. All right, last one, number three. Find the product of 21 and 7 tenths and 9 and 9 tenths. Product. That means, yes, we are going to multiply. Now, when I'm multiplying decimals, do I have to line them up? No, we're going to line them up to, um, to the right. So, 21 and 7 tenths. 21 and 7 tenths times, or in this case, I guess, yes, they do line up, but you don't have to line them up, times 9 and 9 tenths. So I'm pushing it all to the right. 9 and 9 tenths. All right, here we go. Let's do it. Let's multiply. All right, so 9 times 7 is going to be 63. Carry that 6, drop that 3. 9 times 1 is 9, plus 6 is going to be 15. Carry that 1, drop that 5. Ignore the decimals until the end. 
9 times 2 is 18, plus 1 is 19. Now we are done with those remainders up top, so you can either delete them or cross them off. I'm going to delete them so I know we already used them and we don't use them again. We are, however, moving over place value. So that means, ah, that means um, that we are going to put a placeholder of zero. I'll bring that to the front for you guys. So we're going to bring that, um, we're going to cross off that nine, put a placeholder of zero under that three. Now we can uh, multiply through this other nine in the one spot. So nine times seven, again, is going to be 63. So I'm going to carry that six, <laughs> drop that three. Nine times one is nine plus six is going to be 15. Carry that one, drop that five. Nine times two again is going to be 18 plus one is 19. Now, when we, whoa, there we go. <laughs> when we see this, now what are we going to do with these two numbers, these two products here? Whoa, my goodness. Yes, we are going to add them up, add them up, add them up, up, up. All right. Three plus zero is three. Five plus three is eight. Nine plus five is 14. I'm gonna carry that one, drop that four. Ah, I'm out of ones again. Um, nine, 10, 11. I have 11, one, and carry that one. <laughs> and then one plus one is two. So is that our answer? No, what did we forget to do? Our decimals, duh. All right, so let's see, in one, in two total, so in our answer, we're going to move in two. So in one, in two. So our answer here is going to be, we're going to put our decimal in between that, sorry, in between that four and that eight to make our answer 214 and 83 hundredths. So 214.83, 214 and 83 hundredths. And that's it for our fluency. Great job.